Okay, the Samsung Wave, it's our flagship smartphone device. It's the first phone that we're going to launch the Samsung App Store on. And the key things about the phone, as hopefully you can see here as I show it to you, is the quality of the screen. It's super AMOLED technology. No other phone in the marketplace has this except for the Samsung Wave. The other thing about the product is it's high definition, so it records and playback, plays back in HD. Again, if you're looking at a movie on the device, I'll just give you a quick, uh, quick view of what that would look like. So hopefully you can see there the quality of the actual recording at H, high definition on your mobile phone, which is a great experience if you're watching two movies. The other thing, it's got, a, it's a, as I say, it's launching Samsung apps, so it's the first time, see this little logo here, you'll have your apps downloads through this. We're really keen as well being based here, I'm country manager for Samsung Mobile Ireland. So my focus is on getting Irish content onto the phone as quick as possible. So we had a developer's day here today where we invited the Irish developer community. We had a great turnout, over 80 developers turned out here today. And basically what we went through with them is the steps involved in creating an application for the Samsung App Store. Um, one of the things as well about the Samsung App Store is that obviously this is the flagship phone that we're going to launch it on. But very quickly after this we're looking at launching prepaid phones. That is what the, obviously the developers will, will be aware of. It's our, the name for our operating system. What we'll have everywhere is Samsung apps. But BATA is the platform that they develop those Samsung apps for. Um, Samsung strategy, there are, as you mentioned, quite a few platforms out there. But Samsung strategy is a multi-platform strategy because customers like certain different platforms. But what we're going to do is we'll support the Android platform at the high-end devices. We'll be launching high-end devices in terms of higher price points. Um, and mid mid price points with, with the BATA platform and Samsung App Store we're going to be launching obviously this flagship device Wave but then we're going to be launching phones a lot less expensive than this device as well to make it available to the prepay which as I say is not available out there at the moment um, so that's kind of where the split is in terms of our, our platform but the, um, from the, the feedback we had from the developers today um, I believe what they're saying is they seem it seems like it's a straightforward platform to develop C++ is the, the programming language for the, for the platform BADA and they're very positive about how straightforward it's going to be to develop an app for the BADA platform. There's a couple of things I'd like to say I think what might be the future of mobile phones. One is near field communication, NFC. Now, it's been talked about for quite a, a while now but we saw Samsung demoed it over in uh, the Mobile World Con Congress this year in, in Barcelona where people were walking around with Samsung mobile phones paying for their Cokes paying for their lunch, paying for their, their tapas, paying for their tapas in Spain. And that's what that's what I say will be the future. So when you're running for a Lewis, I know it's happened to me a couple of times. I'm trying to get the bloody change out of my pocket and the Lewis pulls off. So you just swipe your mobile phone over the Lewis, um, a Lewis uh, the reader at the Lewis stop and you jump on the Lewis straight away and it'll be taken from your credit card or your debit card or the, or the actual credit that you have on your phone. So that's one thing. Another thing I think is the, the phone talking to your, your home properly. Because you now got DNLA on mobile phones, you've got DNLA on your TV. So I would see very soon you'll be controlling your TV with your mobile phone. So you'll have a little uh, remote control on your mobile phone rather than having to go and get the remote that's over miles away on the couch. Um, so that's, and it will just talk, much, your phone will be talking to other devices in your home, like your stereo, like your television. And just, we're pulling that together in Samsung as well because Samsung apps will not just be on our mobile phones. We're launching Samsung apps on our TVs as well. So you can look at your player game via the, via the Samsung app on a wide, wide format um, 3D TV as well, which we, we're launching this year also. So that's what I see. All the convergence really is beginning to happen.